Hallelujah. Praise God. Starting our third night. Third night of prayer, intercession. We got a few testimonies. And I hope you're going to be connected with us for the next few minutes. And we're going to pray, declare the word of God. Amen. Over your life, over every situation. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Praise God. Let's start praying. Father, we pray tonight. Lord, we declare that you are Lord. We declare that you're good. We declare that your mercies are new every morning. Lord, we pray right now that this few moments, minutes that we're here, let it be productive, let it be anointed, let it be powerful, let change lives and let break burdens and remove yokes. In Jesus' name, Lord God, we pray. I ask you to bless every prayer we're going to lift up, every, every person's name that we're going to mention. We pray that you would cover our lives with the precious blood of Jesus. I pray that you would cover me and my mind and the words that I speak, Lord God, with your precious blood. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we ask you to intervene. So many needs of a supernatural touch. But we know, Lord God, that you are able to do exceedingly, abundantly more than we ask or think. Amen. Praise God. Make sure you, you click on it and mention if you're watching or wherever you are. Uh, and, and, you know, so we can mention here if you have a prayer request. Just write it down, and we're going to do it. We're going to start with a song that I, I love it. And uh, when I start singing, I didn't even know it was in Portuguese. Amen. Hi, Lisa. Lisa Warfel. Uh, I, I didn't even know it was in, in English, and but we sang that song a lot for many, many, many years in Portuguese. And it goes like this. Tudo bem? Praise God. Let me see who is here. Luiz. E aí, Gilberto. Beleza? Wanda. Amen. Praise God. Ruth, Lisa, Sonia. Amen. Praise God. Uh, quick update again. 
We have uh, Lainey update. Lainey's continuing to do well. Praise God. We see, isn't that great that we see the community coming together and everybody just declaring the word of God. I'm telling you, what would happen if we all do this for the nation, if we all do this for our neighborhood, for our city, whatever we are planted? Uh, Lainey's continuing to do well. She's just working on building that strength back. Amen. She needs to be able to do the stairs and to be able to get from uh, to get from the floor before we can come home. We are hoping to try stairs for the first time tomorrow. Our pastor was able to come and pray over her today, which was yesterday. Please continue to pray for her strength and willingness to do what she needs to to do to come home. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for all your prayers. They are each so very appreciated. So we praise God for that. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Wanda. So let's pray for, for Lenny right now. Let's come in agreement, Lord. We're, we're declaring this. Whatever two of us agree on earth, uh, you know, uh, that's in Matthew, right? Matthew 18 talks about, truly I'll tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Uh, again, I, I truly tell you that if two of you, we don't need many then, but we need some to come in agreement. Uh, whatever two of you uh, agree on earth about anything they ask for, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. So, hi Barb. Amen. Praise God. Hope you're feeling better too. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you and we want to declare the word of the Lord over Lainey's life one more time. Lord, we're declaring the strength being restored, the strength coming to her body, through her system, muscles, tissues, ligaments, bones. Lord God, we pray in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we want to see them coming back home. We pray that you would continue to, to give strength and grace to Sarah and Ben. Lord God, all the family members and Whitley, Lord God. Lord, we pray. We want to see them home. We want to see Laney Joe, Lord God, being healed by your power in your name. We're thankful, Lord God, that she's getting better every day. And we give you the glory. And we know there's hundreds, maybe thousands of people praying and believing for this. So we thank you, Lord God, that there is power in agreement in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. The Word of God talks about in Isaiah. Amen. Praise God, Al. Blessings to you and Lila. It says that no weapon formed against us. No weapon formed against you. It's not saying there won't be any weapon. There won't be any kind of attack. There won't be. The enemy is not going to attack. It says that the weapon is not going to work. No weapon. Hey, Sheila. Amen. You're welcome. Praise God. Juliana de Jesus. Blessings. No weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper. Every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Amen. Uh, I do have here as well, Sheila, she just popped in. Uh, she, her doctor was so positive today, blood counts coming back up. She has had a good day with less pain and not wanting, uh, you know, to, to throw up all day. Praise God. We know we have another battle again. Uh, we also know that through God is the only way. Amen, Doug. And he can handle it just fine. Pill number five today, and she's holding them down. Three times the chemo, one of the last one. Her best day of the week. Still tired and weak, but feeling better. There is no doubt that God is helping her take this medicine. We'll see her every two weeks. Blood count starting to come back up. Your prayers last night were amazing. We're so thankful. We continue to pray for everyone mentioned that they will have good results as well. Can you say amen to that? Father, we want to lift up Sheila. We want to pray for blood counts. We want to pray for the medicine. We thank you, Lord, that it's working. It's getting better. And Lord, we're, we're not believing only to get better. We're believing for a break. Through, just like we declared yesterday, we're believing, Lord God, for this burden to be removed, this yoke to be destroyed. We're believing for their faith to rise up. We're blessing right now Sheila and Doug. Lord God, we ask you to break the power of the sickness over her life. And we speak an abundant life over her in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Another quick update. 
Tristan Duncan. Uh, he had a good day yesterday. I don't know if you've checked that out. He had a good day yesterday. They removed the catheter, the IVs. He finally ate something. Although it was just jello and peaches, it's something. All medication are being given orally. He went for a short walk with the physical therapist. When the physical therapist was trying to wake him up, and she said, she asked, uh, Tristan, do you want to get some exercise? And while he spoke uh, with a soft and groggy voice, his immediate answer was, let's go. Let's go. Isn't that cool? What else would we expect from this kid? He knows where he is now, but is still in a lot of pain in his neck and head. So that's what we're going to pray right now. Lord, we bless Tristan Duncan. We rebuke that pain. We declare that by your stripes he's healed. We pray for his head. We remove, uh, that you would remove pain and neck pain. That, Lord, we speak life in the precious name of Jesus. We bless him right now and his family and everyone that's connecting and, and you know, just praying and interceding for him. Uh, Pastor, please pray for a young man, Zach. I believe he is uh, 9 or 11. He has a clot in one of his arteries and was taken to St. Louis early today. So, Father, we pray for Zach right now. We rebuke that blood clot. We pray for the arteries to be unblocked. We pray for healing to flow. We, Lord, manifest your power. Lord, take care of him and his family. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Praise God. Um, Shirley Corbin. We want to lift her up right now. Shirley Corbin. Come in agreement with me. Amen. Let's come in agreement that God is doing something. Let's come in agreement that God is visiting her. Uh, yesterday night didn't look so good. Then at six morning, this this o'clock this morning today, uh, the, the, one of her daughters just texted me saying, you know, that she improved a lot through the night, and uh, but the doctors want to remove the the, the ventilator. So uh, we, we're praying, we're standing, uh, you know, on the gap for them and declaring the word of God over Tanya and Lynn and Jim and Sh Shirley. Uh, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we know there's no distance, there's no timing, Lord God, there's no, there's no barrier in the spirit. And that's why we can come through here and declare the word of the Lord. So we bless Shirley, we bless her whole family, we pray for their faith their faith to be strengthened at this hour, that they would stand upon the word of God. We pray, Lord God, that you would bring her out of this situation stronger, healthier, in the name of Jesus. We pray for the medication that they are using, that you would give the doctors wisdom in the name of Jesus. Amen? Can you say amen to that? And, and let's, let's do that. Jimmy Rogers and Joyce, talk to them a little bit today. Uh, you know, and again, that's the thing, you know, with the COVID, I, I remember personally, there was, there was two or three days. It was not only the aches and pains and the shortness of breath. It was like foggy. It was almost like confusion. You, you couldn't think right and you couldn't, you know, it's like very, ugh. that's the feeling that I had it. And it, it was definitely bad. You, you know, didn't almost didn't have any didn't have any fever, you know, body aches and kidneys and some other things, but the coughing and the shortness of breath was bad, you know. So we want to pray for all those people that they're, they're going through this. I said yesterday, the two types of soil, the one that is the, the, the house founded in the rock and the other one upon sand, both of them, the wind, the waves, the flood, the beating, uh, but the one who is on the rock, that's the one that's going to stand after the storm is over. So uh, we, we just want to encourage them. Uh, I talked to Dave Houck, the same thing today. He tested positive. He, he's not having hardly any of the symptoms. We praise God for that. Uh, Joshua didn't test positive, uh, but in three, four days, we got some symptoms going. We want to pray for them as well and bless them. Uh, so we want to pray Jimmy Rogers, Joyce Rogers, Mary, David, Joshua, uh, 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 Joe Mumo. I want to pray for him tonight that God would visit him uh, with his mighty touch. Amen. In Jesus name. And if you know someone here that is dealing with COVID, you know, we want to lift them up. We want to pray for them. We want them to be encouraged. Uh, you know, we're praying for the churches around us here. We want to, we want to pray for the rock church, good fight of faith, pastor, 
uh, Aaron, Pastor Trina, uh, you know, so that we, we're believing for this virus to just, you know, for these people to be healed in Jesus' name. So we lift up each one of them, Lord God, right now. We pray for them. We pray for Shirley. We pray, Lord God, for Jimmy Rogers. We pray for Joyce. We pray for Mary. Lord, we pray for David and Joshua and John Mumo. Lord God, we pray in the name of Jesus. We rebuke this virus. Lord, not in our name. We can do nothing. Our name can do nothing. But the name of Jesus, the name that's above every name, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that He is Lord, so Lord, we bless them, we bless their bodies, we bless their health, we pray for a breakthrough, breakthrough in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we lift them up right now, amen, praise God, hallelujah, I want to read something tonight before we, we preach, we, we, we pray in the end, um, because yesterday I was sharing about the rock, the house that's built upon the rock, the one that's built on sand. Uh, and we know, and that's the important thing as we navigate through the season, as we navigate to the things that's going on. Uh, Matthew 16 says, when Jesus came into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples saying, pay attention, two questions, one to the disciples and one to the people on the outside. Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am. You know, and I always like to see this as like, he asks and he gives the answer, who do men say that I am? Who, you know, so who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? So they said, you know, some say John the Baptist, some Elijah, some others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. So two kinds of opinion. But then he turns around to the disciples and said, but who do you say that I am? Very important. Two different kinds of opinion. There's opinion in the world. There's opinion in the world where, you know, God doesn't belong. It's not for God. We're taking too serious this thing and we don't want him here. We don't want laws that you know, come from the Word of God. I mean, there's a lot going on in the world, general, not only in the U.S., you know, but there is a constant attack that, like, we don't need God. We want to be, you know, on our own. We, forget it. But we see here that Jesus asked the disciples what they say. So that was not the final. Whatever they say is not final. Whatever they say, it's not really as important as whatever what you say. What is your revelation? Who do you say that Jesus is. Who do you say that he is? So he asked both, uh, you know, both of them, Simon Peter, he had to be Simon, you know, and we know Peter, little rock, and Simon, it, it was related to listen, listening. Peter, his name means listen. Simon Peter answered and said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. The Messiah, the anointed one. Jesus answered and said to him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona. And then he says, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. So he was blessed because of the revelation that he had of who Jesus was. He is blessed, and my encouragement tonight, very short, but we, we, we are blessed when we understand who Jesus is. You are the Christ, Son of the living God. Then Jesus goes on and say, and also I say to you, to you that have this revelation, to you, church, to you, disciples, not to them, to you, I say to you that you are Peter. So his identity, what God had for him, was revealed on the base of what he saw that Jesus was. So you're never going to fully understand who you are until you see, until you have a revelation of who He is. Oh, that's good. Amen? Because <laughs> in the midst of all this chaos and confusion, it's like 
the enemy wants us to lose identity. Who you are? Who are you? You know, I mean, if COVID really brings that, or it's just the effects in our brain for a few days, that confusion, that fogginess, you don't even know who you are. You know, the enemy's attacking your identity in God. Who you are in Him. You are bought with His blood. You're sanctified. You're the child of the Most High God. That's who we are. But the revelation was, the revelation, what people are saying, now what you are saying, and now what I'm saying. So they said what they said, and then they, Peter said what he heard from the Father. And now Jesus reaffirms Peter, and he says, and you are Peter. You're like a rock, little rock. You are Peter, and on this rock, I will build my church. Who are his church? We are. The church is built. Remember yesterday I was talking about the two types of building. One was built upon the rock. The other was built on sand. So it's like, I will build my church. So we're not here. You know, this is our, the church is not us. It's not my church. You know, we do say that sometimes. You know, church of pastors so and so. But it's like his church. Jesus' church. I will build my church. And the gates of hey, hell or Hades shall not prevail against it. And the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. And watch this. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom. I will say that a key in comparison to a door is very small. But a key would open something gigantic. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. All right. that Talk about a powerful key that is connecting heaven and earth. When we understand who Jesus is. So when we pray, when we rebuke darkness, when we speak healing... When we go after those things, when we're declaring the word of the Lord over all these people, it's like we want to connect thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. No COVID in heaven. No destruction. No fear. No trauma. No, you know, we're connecting. So I give you, when you have that revelation, Peter... I am the Christ. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And upon this rock, on, uh, the, upon this revelation, I will build. So when we go through something yesterday and the day before, the first night was the emphasis on, you, you know, the devil asked Jesus to sift Peter and he prayed for him that his faith would not, you know, that his faith would be strengthened. And when you repent, come back and strengthen your brothers. So that strength comes by realizing God's grace, how He is merciful. But realizing, you know, Peter, you messed up, but you're going to come back. I know you're coming back, but when you come back, have compassion on those that fall away. Those who deny me, those who have, a, their, their faith is weakened. So right now, that's why I'm encouraging you. We need to encourage one another, pray for one another. You know, and, and if you know someone sick, call them, send them a message, send them a scripture, send them a song or something that they would take their minds off of what they're going through and put their minds in the word of God and renew their mind with the word of God and do not conform to the pattern of this world and not just like accept, this is it, I'm going to die. We're all going to die. I just don't want to die before my time. That's it. I refuse and that's how we do it. And you fight until you can fight no more. And we pray and we ask and we knock and we seek and we're going to find and it shall be open and we will receive. But we have to knock and keep on knocking. Ask and keep on asking. So it's not a one-time thing. It's like a constant. We're going to be, you know, the same way that the enemy comes to kill, steal, destroy. We have to declare the word of God that he came to give us life and more abundant life. So that revelation is the key. You know, we're going to build something. 
We're all going to build something. But where are we going to build and what are we going to do with that building that we're building for, you know, for him, supposedly? Amen. So this is it. Before we pray again, let me see if I got another song here. That's a good one. God. Yes, that's a good way to spend Friday night, Barb. <laughs> Amen. Be encouraged. You are a child of God. We're building on something here. Precept upon precept. The attack comes, but God is greater. The attack comes, but we have to have, you know, it's not like, okay, God is judging me. He's punishing me. Something's going on uh, and I don't know what's, you know, no, we got to refuse those things. We got to stand upon the word of God. We want to declare that we are children of God. 
In the name of Jesus, Father, I want to bless everyone once again, everyone that's connected, everyone that's going to watch later. We, Lord, we believe that you are doing something and we want to give you the glory. We want to give you the worship. Lord, you're worthy to receive our praise tonight. I want to bless everyone. I want to pray, Lord, we are going against COVID, not in my name, not in the name of a church. We're going against COVID in the name of the Lord, the Lord of hosts. The Lord God Almighty, Lord God, against COVID in our families, against COVID in our friends, against COVID in our neighborhood, against COVID in our towns. Lord, we're declaring, Lord God, that this virus is being removed, that people are being restored, that people are being healed, that people are being delivered, that people are embracing, Lord God, that their lives is built on nothing less than Jesus Christ, our righteousness. And we trust you, Lord God. And we declare that we're no longer slaves of fear because we are children of God. We're no longer slaves of fear. We are children of God. Can you say that? That we are, you are a child of God. Amen. I hope you have a great night. This is our third night. We're breaking through. We are breaking through all this thing in the name of Jesus. Call someone, you know, that COVID will not go through the phone. Okay. So <laughs> just call someone. Just call someone, encourage them, bless them, pray with them. Let us do this like a, you know, let us create a chain reaction where we're going to cover each other and try, you know, and call them. Yeah, you're not going to get COVID through the phone. Thank God. Amen. But we need to encourage one another in the Lord. And I hope you can plug it in tomorrow. It's going to be our fourth night. We're only on the third night. There's four more to go. But I want to bless you in the name of the Lord. Amen. So again, Pastor Leib, if you want, check us out. Strong Tower Church, and we have a prayer network going on, and you can share this as many people as you want. We just want to bless as many people as we can. The enemy comes and attack, we attack back. We don't run from it, we run to it, and we're going to see this giant coming down. Amen? Have a great night. Bye now.